and there you go you just did your first programming and this is how easy it is to do python you are going to learn how to code in python very easily coding in python is very 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 easy i will publish a full series of videos to learn python from basics to advanced level you will get enough confidence after watching my videos to be a python programmer you can start code in python immediately after watching this video python is very easy i almost felt like working with a calculator i will give you a step by step instructions all you need is a computer i learned everything from my mom she's a phd in computer science i'm going to use jupiter notebook for this coding Once you entered Jupyter notebook you have to click try it on your browsers and you have to press try classical notebook which is for python So you have to press a plus over here which will install a cell where you can do the code. You can do your code in here or pr press files and press python 3. And now let's do our first programming in python. First you got to write print then you got to put brackets and now you can write anything that will be written below inside the brackets you have to put the speech marks and now you have to write something If you are done your words then you have to click run and there you go you just did your first programming and this is how easy it is to do python so now let's do some more and now you have to click run now let's do one more And now let's press run. So now let's do the programming a little bit different. So you have to give this letter a value. I'm going to give this a 10. Then you have to write print with brackets and double quotes. Then you have to put a plus b after the brackets. Now 
we want our answer to be 30 so now let's check and and this is how you do it so now let's do a subtraction this time with the same values You should not add double quotes to this because you're using just letters only. So the answer should be 10. Now let's do a multiplication and division. So the answer should be 200. Now let's do division. The answer is 2. So now let's check it. And this is how you do programming in Python. It's so easy. So now let's find the area of a square. The answer should be 100. Now let's do the volume of the cube. The formula for this one is A cube. The answer is 1000. So now let's find the area of a triangle. Now let's find the perimeter of a square. The answer should be 80. Let's find the area of a rectangle now. The answer should be 2400. Let's learn more about Python in the next episode. If you want to see my scratch programming, click the above link to watch it.